Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video um, to show you just how easy it is to um, show my alignments. Um, here is North America and Alaska, of course, and and then you can see the Pacific Ocean, the plate, and you can see what they claim to be um, subduction zones right here. Well, and then there's this uh, line that goes out to Hawaii, which is supposedly created by hot spots. And um, if all that's true, and this is the Pacific Plate and all that, the Ring of Fire, then why can't I... How come I can take this, what I'm claiming to be a vortex... and bring it why is it that I can bring it in watch this you see this uh this right here and when that fits into there you can see that this fits into here okay like that and that also fits into this is like a second version of this this is getting wider is what it is you know what this is this is what I said it was before this is the overspill and it's it's actually getting wider and it's gonna go all the way around that right there notice how this uh, part of the vortex goes right there I don't know if you can see my pointer but okay so you, you see that and it, it lines up in other places too you can see how it it just fits it hooks right there it even hit fits there and it fits right there you see that and then of course it's gonna go right there and you look how it you see how it just keeps fitting all around perfect and it, you can see it even slides in right here okay and you can see the uh, you can see the other background um, stuff lining up too you can even put that there right look and see how it lines up here with these this is spinning by the way and pouring look and then it does it again here it fits right into here and then lines up here this is actually a, a legitimate alignment because it's um, it supports itself all over the place okay and and besides that we got other things too here this also is part of the vortex. It's like the inner part. And um, so here we come in. Of course, it fits right in there. Um, this part, too. You, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see th this part right here and this part. They fit right in there. And. See how South America fits right in there too? Hold on. Yeah, this is the this is the intake of the vortex. something like that it might not be it could be it could be also the it could be a couple things it's kind of confusing actually but but one thing's for sure there are no hot spots making Hawaii and the Hawaiian Island change I, I guarantee that and um, you can see how uh, the Himalayas right here line up right into there here's our overspill uh, 
this is our vortex um, India is the vortex the Hawaiian island chain and this and this chain of underground scars is the center part of this vortex the one that makes India and it's just it's kind of common sense it doesn't And then look at that split right here. Here's that split in this outer lip. This is They claim this is a subduction zone. I'm telling you, there's no way in hell that it's a subduction zone. This planet doesn't work the way they claim it does. If it, if it did, none of these things that I, I'm showing you would line up. See how they, they, and they line up and they support in the background. So it, it's, there's no doubt about this. that uh, this is how it is. I mean, you know, this is two years of, of my research and this is what I figured out. You can tell that, let's see if I put that there, it almost looks like this is a miniature version of this sliding around, huh? But let me just show you again so you don't forget. I wonder if oh shit. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably edit this out so and here's the reverse of that. And things are still lining up. You see how you see how it's now reversed, but yet the arch in in South America uh, goes along with this this supposed subduction zone, which also lines up with the Himalaya mountain range because they're reoccurring patterns. The planet's made of reoccurring patterns. And what else we got? So you got this coming in. And you can see how it lines up too. Ooh, this is gonna be hard for people to discredit. Oh yeah, look at the uh, these features right here lining up with this right there. Okay. And then of course you got the knuckling right here, which is from rotation. And I've already told you that this is the rotation that created that gouge in China. And here it is, right by here. Rotating away, even right here, look. That thing right there. See how then this fits into here? This is uh, the North Pole, by the way. And this is a vortex that I'm, I'm showing you. And it fits. You know, um, just in the name of science, I, I welcome anybody to try to show that these do not exist and that I'm wrong. Okay, and then, of course, don't forget the vortex that, I, that I'm that i telling you. You can see the, the spinning in it. And you can see it's following up the Hawaiian island chain and, and other scarring underneath. It fits in here. Fits in here. You know, it fits in here like a glove, like right here. It's even got the two loops, look. You got the two hooks right here, and they line up with that right there, perfect. And then they come in and they line up with this lip. Because the Pacific, because the rest of the planet came out of this lip. How obvious could that be? This is the lip of the top of the vortex. And you see what, what what's above it is everything. Um, it also lines up here with this. This is it. So it goes like from here. Check it out. Okay, from there. And then you can see the stuff is coming out now when I line this up. 
this is like that over spill from from it or whatever this is where the material comes out and just starts filling up apparently and then of course it fits everywhere see this is why it's this is why it's um hard to um it's um pretty solid and it's factual and um All right, so, um, and then look how this lines up, too. Look at that, right there in Japan and stuff. We've got our knuckling, that, that uh, this thing right here, it looks like a, it's got these ridges. All right, leave a comment and tell me what you think.